John Cena had many characters in WWE and John Cena had always played those characters with his whole heart. And sometimes these characters had some specifications in them. Like when John Cena used to wear a big chain and if you remember, John Cena used that chain to win a lot of matches. That chain helped John Cena a lot. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at John Cena chain attacks in WWE. So without wasting any time, let's talk about the first time John Cena used it as a weapon. Billy Kidman took on Eddie Guerrero. At that time, Cena was actually developing his character. So Eddie Guerrero and Billy Kidman were fighting. Cena was near the ringside. The referee got distracted and within a split second, Cena gave a chain shot on Eddie's head. This was done very rapidly. He did it so fast. Billy Kidman took the advantage of it, gave his finisher to Eddie and won that match. The next time Cena used his chain was against Rikishi. Rikishi was Cena's first rivalry for the Doctor of Thugonomics character. On an episode of Smackdown, they had a match and the referee was knocked and distracted for a little bit. Cena grabbed his chain and hit it on Rikishi's head. Now the most shocking part about this was Rikishi still kicked out somehow but that was of no use because after this immediately Cena gave an attitude adjustment to a 350 pound Rikishi and won that match. WWE was trying to push Cena a little bit here. Now after this Cena again used his chain and now the victim was Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar and John Cena's rivalry was really a stepping stone for Cena's career. Lesnar was having a match against A-Train and Brock Lesnar was so close to win that match but John Cena came took his chain and hit it on Brock Lesnar's head. The match ended due to disqualification, but Cena didn't stop. Cena again gave a chain shot to Brock Lesnar on the head. Brock Lesnar was the first major opponent for Cena's career. Cena lost, we know that, but it helped Cena's career massively, without a doubt. The next victim was Eddie Guerrero. John Cena's rivalry with Eddie Guerrero was very short and sweet rivalry. So John Cena took on Eddie Guerrero on an episode of SmackDown. This match was very competitive and enjoyable. So Eddie was doing his three amigos, but in the end, Cena gave a low blow and disqualified himself. After that, Cena took his chain, wrapped around his fist and gave a headshot to Eddie Guerrero. Cena back in the day used to do a lot of heelish things that we would have never expected. John Cena and low blow, we can never think about that. The next moment was the biggest victory of John Cena and his chain actually helped him. This win was life changing for John Cena. John Cena was his big show WrestleMania 20. I don't think so we have to talk much about this. So match was going on and Cena was trying to cheat. He wrapped the chain around the face but referee was not allowing him. So Cena showed his chain to distract referee and in the meantime Cena took some kind of brass knuckles and hit it on big show's face. Gave an attitude adjustment and won that match. Now yes I know he didn't actually use a chain to attack Big Show but it played an important role to distract the referee and it is what it is. The next time Cena used his chain was a very clever way. You should watch this. So a very unexpected match took place on SmackDown. John Cena and Brock Lesnar vs Undertaker and Kurt Angle. Very strange match. So the match was going on. John Cena cleverly grabbed the chain without showing it to the referee. Angle gave an ankle lock. But Cena, Cena was still hiding the chain under his stomach. This was very high intelligence by John Cena. After that, when referee was not seeing all the drama, John Cena immediately hits the chain on the face of Kurt Angle. John Cena throws the chain and sweeps the victory. This was very clever and interesting. The next time Cena used this chain was Armageddon 2004. Now Carlito was not medically cleared to compete, his hand was fractured, so John Cena faced Jesus. I don't know why WWE keep names like this, but John Cena very easily dominated him and defeated him. Carlito was trying to steal John Cena's chain in front of John Cena. Clearly a dumb move, but Cena caught him, grabbed the chain and hit it on Carlito's head. You will also see a rare instance of John Cena spitting on his enemy, which was quite interesting. Now after this, Cena never used his chain and he retired it, but then he brought back his chain again at Extreme Rules 2012 for Brock Lesnar. It was a very intense rivalry, the 2012 rivalry of Brock Lesnar and Cena. Everybody was so happy to see Cena bringing back his chain for that match and we know that he was going to use it. So in the last moments of the match, Cena was standing on the apron. Lesnar was going to give a running attack to John Cena. Lesnar didn't know that Cena had a chain in his hand, so Cena gave a brutal chain shot to Brock Lesnar. The momentum completely shifted to John Cena, and then he gave a AA on the steel steps and won that match. Now there were moments where John Cena got hit by his own chain like Carlito and Undertaker but this was when John Cena got attacked by his own chain and there were plenty of moments like this but we will not talk about that because this was not our video's topic. So that's it for the video guys I hope you have liked this video till then see you soon.